The power of creating your own custom smart plans is here. Yes, now you can not only use the amazing library of smart plans we have for you, you can also create your very own, anything that you want. This is really exciting and new. So I'm here in the command and we went to smart plans. Now, if you want to access the library, these are pre-made for you, ready to go. You've got your bi-weekly email, you've got your eight by eight, quarterly call plan, midterm nurture, there are several plans here that are really plug and play. However, the one thing I get asked the most is, Jay, when can I create my own custom smart plan? That is live today. So I'm gonna show you the beginning of what this looks like. And remember, this is gonna be an evolution. So today's version is gonna keep getting better and better. So you're gonna to come to smart plans and be able to click the create button. Now you're gonna give it a name. And in the future, you'll be able to do things like changing different categories, like if it's a referral plan or a listing plan, and trigger events. This is gonna be really cool, where you can even do it by like a tag. Like if I tag it as a Facebook lead, automatically trigger this smart plan. Now, those things are coming soon. For today, you're just creating these smart plans. You'll be able to come back later after you created your smart plan and do things like edit it for a trigger or change it for a different category. So you're going to give it a name. Now, I'm already starting one for time purposes. So this is me creating my own smart plan. Now, I'm creating this smart plan specifically because I'm running Facebook ads around the new KW app. So I wanna make sure that I have a different follow-up system. Now there is a smart plan for the KW app and it's great. It sends them an email to say, download my app today. And then it sends them two text messages after the second day and on the fifth day. Now that one works fine. If you wanna use that, that's available. However, if you're like me, I wanted to customize a unique version of my own. So I came here and you'll see when you're in this little widget, here's where you give the name of what you wanna call it. Now, this is what I have so far going on here, and this plan will be on. So a lot of people ask me about this plan being on. The default is on. Eventually, you'll be able to like turn this off in the future. You can add people to this plan once it's done. That's what this little button would do right here. And we can add people to this. And then you're gonna select an option to create this. Now, I'm gonna give you some advice. If this is your first time creating one, you can always come back and create more. Click here to click the actual steps and tips on creating a smart plan. Now you're gonna be able to create a smart plan where it creates a task, makes a phone call, well it reminds you to make a phone call I should say, send an email, send a text message, have a delay, add them to another smart plan and then restart the flow. So that way you can make it where maybe every week you touch them and then repeat itself or something along that line. Now I'm gonna click the little click here to get some tips. So there's some rules when creating your uh, custom smart plan. First, you're gonna create a task, allow two tasks per day per smart plan, and a day must be added between those. So there are some rules around that. Require at least one day delay between scheduled text messages. So it doesn't want you to send five text messages the same day. So one of the rules is to delay that at least one day. You're gonna send an email requires at least one day, so you don't spam your person with 20 emails in one day. So one email, wait a day, another email, wait a day, another email. You can set a delay at least one day in between. Eventually you might get the option to do this hourly. Right now it is a daily thing, and from what I understand, if you add the smart plan today at 5 p.m., then the next trigger is 24 hours at 5 p.m. the next day. So when you turn it on also matters, when they get the next step. Just so you know, until we get the option to set a specific time, that's how it works today, is an exact 24 hours from the date you add a person. Now, I've got my delays here. You can add a smart plan allowed once a day per smart plan. Delays must be added and cannot add more than one version of a canned smart plan, meaning you can't add two eight by eights at the same time or two monthly nurtures you also, in normal terms, can't add a monthly nurture and a bi-weekly email at the same time. It's gonna either choose once a month or twice a month. Now, it's not gonna allow you to exceed 14 days. You guys, we're not doing a smart plan that goes for indefinite. It's gonna set it as a limit of 14 days. Now, you can repeat after 14 days and you must add this as the last action in the flow. So create all your items and add that flow at the end. And then here are the rules around the smart plans. If it is less than seven days, you cannot exceed seven touches in seven days. 
If it's 30 days, you can't exceed 12 and 15 total in one smart plan. So there are some rules around this. This is just the beginning. It's going to keep evolving. In labs, you're going to give us feedback and we'll keep making it greater. All right, so that's great. Now, what can I do to create these? So you'll see here, I decided to make my first trigger that I call them right away. So I added an item to say make a call, and I said call. Notice it says contact first name. You have the really cool option to create these little mail merge kind of options here to merge a field tag. So if they registered and it's Sally, this will say to me call Sally and her last name and her phone number inside the task item. I just like that because I'll see the phone number right there. You have the task description you can create your own and it is due today or you can set a specific due date of when you want that. Okay, so I added that one. I also added a text message. So I have Twilio connected. That's a totally different video if you want to use Twilio and it auto texts them. So I decided to use a static email or text message that says, hi, first name. This is Jay Cermak with the J team. Notice their placeholders. So it's going to pull from my marketing profile of the agent first name, last name, and team name automatically for me. And I wrote at Keller Williams Really Professionals. Thank you for signing up on Facebook. We just wanted to make sure you were able to download the new KW app. And then it says social app link. This will put my link into the text message automatically. Please let us know what you think. Thanks, Jay. That's going to be one text message, and I have a limit of 480 characters. So that's just an example of what you can do. Then I'm going to wait a day and do the next one. So the next one's going to go, okay, now we're going to send an email, and I'm going to make this a simple email. Reply to is my email address, and then the subject line is, how do you like our new KW app? And I added a quick little message that I wrote myself. There's tons of examples out there, guys. If you want examples, check out the Command Your Conversion Facebook group. They have a lot of people who've already started making smart plans. I just made this one from scratch so you can see what I'm doing. And if you love it, feel free to pause this video and take anything I'm sharing with you and make it yourself. So I said, hi, first name. We just wanted to follow up and see if you have a chance to explore a new app. Super easy to search by neighborhoods with our built-in home and buying guides, save money. So I want to create this experience to them. Please just know what you think about the app. And then I signed it sincerely with my info. And I added a link at the bottom because I don't want to assume they downloaded the app. So I'm going to say didn't get a download or app yet. Visit this link. Now, again, I have a vanity URL. If you want tips and tricks on how to do that, check out another YouTube video on how to make your own custom URL. Or you could have just used the insert, the social um, link to your mobile app at the bottom as well. So that's that step. Then I'm going to wait four days and send them another email. This time I'm looking to get their address because we know the more information I collect, the better it gets. So why not have that be automatic? So I'm waiting a couple days, and this is day six, and it's going to send them an email this time. Do you want to know about your neighborhood? Question mark. And I talk about the fact that we have an exclusive relationship with Nextdoor. I said, hi, first name. You know, did you know that Nextdoor neighborhood maps are built into our app and website? We'd love to share with you a monthly email. All we need is your mailing address. And again, I did the same kind of a hook around my app. However, this time I said, explore 300... Oh, I should change that, 300,000 plus neighborhoods across the U.S. on our new KW app. Free to download. So you see we're just adding more information here to put this stuff in. And the whole goal is to capture them and create an experience. Then I'm going to create a task after for a day to add the first name to a smart plan if they give a neighborhood. So I wanted to delay here so I can check and see if we got that. Now, after that, I went ahead and did automatically add on the monthly neighborhood nurture. That will only work, guys, if they have a neighborhood tagged. So I'm doing this to remind myself. This is just an example. You literally can create anything you want by just clicking here to say, you know what, let's add a task list. Let's restart this all over again. Let's set a delay, add them automatically to a smart plan, send them an email. There's all kinds of cool things in here. Now, I will share with you when it comes to email, there's a simple one, which is just text, or there is an HTML one where you can browse a template, and these are pre-made for you. So these are also new. You can click on any of these. So here's a preview of what the seller one's going to look like, and it's going to say selling your homes and experience, and it has some built-in stuff of let's work together. So now you have pre-made auto emails if you want to choose one of these as well. I've also got one if it's for a buyer 
we'll help you buy, largest network, we love real estate, let's work together, and it's all linked to me and download the app. How cool are these? Home anniversary is built into here now, so now you can create your own home anniversary and view neighborhood trends. Birthday wishes is built in. This is just the beginning of having all these great things built in. So how exciting is this to see this? And here's the one about promote your app. Preview. I can actually see what the app one will look like. By the way, here's the phone version. Here's a phone and here's a tablet version of what is this email going to look like. And you can have these automatically ones created as well. And that's it. And when I'm done with this, I can just save it. And now it's added to my library. Click all steps. Ah. Changes back to simple. There we go. Save. And my smart plan is now live, what I called Facebook. And now I have a smart plan for Facebook that I can add my own people to. I can either do that here, adding things in. Something that's coming soon is the ability to share it with others. This is going to be really cool. We're labbing that right now. You can also copy it. So if I wanted a Facebook 1 version and a Facebook 2 version, I can make that. I also have the ability to edit, and of course, you always have the option to delete. This is a powerful tool. Take advantage of creating one. If you need help along the way, click the little question mark, come to Keller Williams University, and you can say create smart plan, and pull up any articles around that. So if I just type in smart plan, I will see the option now to edit and activate one, and here we go. Create a custom smart plan. Learn how to create one. This is everything I just showed you. Give it a name how to apply it, explains what everything is, and use the built-in help menu for help along the way. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.